All right, so now I'm moving into the uh, the second part of the video uh, where I'm drawing out the character, trying to find its es her essence. And now, you know, I, what I did was I, I lowered the first uh, layers of opacity, kind of really my real rough sketch version of it, and I'm kind of trying to find a bit of the design over it on a new layer. You know, does it have a long neck piece, short neck piece, big shoulder pads, small shoulder pads? So many little design choices, but I'm, and I can get sidetracked with that at this point, of course. I'm not, you know, ultimately trying to find the design of the outfit, because you'll quite see, um, or have noticed already, it, the, the final one differs drastically from this. But initially, I, I did love the um, big kind of hat, almost kind of like in the shape of a, a classic nurse's hat. And that was, you know, to symbolize that she liked to help people, but... Um, I get something a little bit more subtle in the final result. I don't. I don't think I go with the head. No, I don't. But for me, it's, it's I use a, a really simple kind of like round brush, and I just draw. I'm not focusing on, you know, the custom brushes, textures, any of that. I'm just, you know, doing a, a simple drawing, working on a little bit design. So that's why these ones are better. To, either probably do from the the side or you know a, a traditional portrait view kind of straight on because you can just work as a uh, focus on the drawing instead of worrying too much about how something looks in like a three-quarter angle or you know something like that this just kind of doing it on a, uh, a straight a straight angle will just keep the drawing at a more simple level So it's, yeah, it's, it's coming together more or less. Just takes a little time, especially with the hair. I'm not that great at hair, so it takes me a few ways to figure out how I want it uh, flowing. And I think in the, the final, the color one I do in the next video, I, I even change the direction again. And some more things to think about which a character is, you know, the motivator. You know, what, what motivates the character? And I... I talked about that being their passion, you know, so it, it's this character always looking to, to find um, peace or create balance in, in her world and situations. And, you know, from that you can derive the mood and outlook of the character. You know, how is she, how is she always feeling and how does she look at the world? Uh, you know, she'd be even tempered and optimistic. Uh, I don't see this type of character as being a, a pessimistic, really. That just wouldn't make sense. So, you know, she really has a, a conscious integrity. But you can't have, like, all pure and noble uh, character attributes like that, you know. Um, this character would be... I, I could see her being, you know, impulsiveness and be really kind of spontaneous, and that can kind of get her into trouble with situations and, you know, trusting the wrong people. Um, you know, that's, that's a character flaw. Um, and she, but she's flexible though. She, you know, I'm thinking, you know, she's adaptable, open mind, open minded. And it's also, again, that open mindedness that, you know, can get her into trouble sometimes. And eventually that can make, you know, her general affinity about the character. She can go through, uh, I would say, uh, periods of time where she's just cold, cold to others. You know, she loves helping them, but she gets, I'm guessing she you knows she can get frustrated, and uh, with that, and just kind of shut the the outside world off. And you know, again, that could, uh, and that comes from having an engaging type of you know personality where she's really um, interactive with others, and um, but yeah, ultimately she can be defensive in in some of those situations because because of her frustratedness. And furthermore, if, uh, furthermore, if you were to work out even more intricacies of characters, uh, you could find, you know, their habits, their their oddities, you know, little things like that, you know, what their favorite pastime is, but I, I don't go quite that far in all the time. And it's also different too if I'm, you know, basically drawing this character for myself, so I have kind of full free creative reign over that stuff. But 
you know, a lot of the times if you're designing characters for like a client, you know, they're, they're just like, you know, I need six orcs and they each have a different job role. And, you know, you wouldn't go this far into figuring out that character because you just need, you know, basically something that that already has a role and it, it, the look needs to serve it. So basically the best you can do in a situation like that or what I try to do is, you know, have the expression of the character, you know, if he's, you know, hulking ogre, you know, he should look like he's angry, he's tired, you know, you can, you can figure out some basic expressions to fit on any character to kind of emphasize who or what they are about. And so now I'm kind of just blocking in areas of value on the character. And I more or less show a lot of that later on when I'm going through the the thumbnail designs and the silhouettes and stuff, but uh, for this illustration, I, I just think of parts of the the outfit in terms of uh, blocks of value. Is it you know dark, medium, or light? And so I try to stick with those three values while also showing a little bit of the material and or form. I actually spent a little a lot more time on this one than I normally do. <laughs> typically for something like this I don't probably because I knew I was gonna have to record this and uh, talk about it but so it just kind of made me a little self-conscious or extra weary of it but oh man shoulder pads you could just uh, you could design shoulder pads all day they just when do they end I, there's so many different options for those I guess I get kind of frustrated with it because I, I know a lot of characters have them they, it makes them look cool and everything but Oh, the design possibilities are just endless, so it's just a matter of knowing when to stop and when when you're overdoing it and when you're not. And now that I'm looking at this, I really do not know what the exact type of material this would be on her headdress and shoulders. Uh, I did want her to be from more of like an ancient or distant land, maybe even from like a star type setting. But so I just want I want it to feel a little bit um, unnatural or you know alienistic even. Just putting weird bips, um, dips and dashes in it. Is it metallic or or a matte finish? I mean, just tons of questions to ask yourself. Like if if I I know when working on something, it, you you often look at it and you're not sure where to take it next. You know what can I do to make the image better? But um, if you just take a pause for a second and ask yourself questions regarding it, um, you can kind of fill in the blanks and it will give you an idea of where to go. You know, what type of material is is something? How is the light hitting it? Uh, is it reflective? Is it not reflective? Is it worn? You know, is there scratches on it? Uh, is something shiny or glowing? Just you know, just ask yourself questions, or I, that's what I do anyways, and, and and I figure out where to take the piece next. And what I did here is, you know, I duplicated the original drawing in case when I'm going over it more now. Here, I didn't like what I did, so I kind of made a backup of it within the same canvas. That's all that was. Kind of like describing that, but yeah, that's all it was. And now I'm going back to kind of add a little bit more life into the eyes. They, they pretty much were fine, but I don't know. I, I'm probably just overworking it at this point. Trying to add some eyelashes, but not kind of make it look like she'd have makeup on, because I don't see this type of character as having uh, makeup. Yes, yeah, I had part of the reference over on the other screen that just popped up. Sorry, I should have, I should have showed it more. I thought I did. See, I think I really just wrecked the eyes there. Of course, um, when you have the, you know, the the eyelid and the with the lashes and everything, don't forget to kind of put a cast shadow underneath it. Um, on the eyeball itself to kind of show its uh, form and and whatnot. Uh, 
the highlight on the eyeball as well would also give it more definition. So nearly finishing this up now, just putting a last uh, few touches on this and again redesigning the, the damn shoulder pads. Couldn't make up my mind. And this is just noodling out the little details and you could, anybody could spend way too much time doing that, especially kind of like on a little sketch like this, which is, you know, supposed to capture the general idea of the character. But anyway, detailing is fun. It's a little less stressful and sometimes I like to do it when I'm not trying to think of the, the larger problems regarding the, the image. So now I'm even exploring a little bit of ideas or, or designs with the, within the cape. which I ultimately ditch anyway and end up going with a scarf, a pattern scarf. I do like this design. It just, um, I ultimately decided to go on a much different direction. Same type of character, you know, but it, you can visually look at it in a couple different ways. I guess I tried to be a little more original with it, with it but, um, it's really hard to do that these days anyway as well. But yeah, this is pretty much ready now. I'll just block on some quick color. I think I must have spent uh, maybe like a, a half hour getting it up to this point in real time. You know, maybe, maybe 40 minutes. I don't quite remember. I'm not the fastest guy, but I just try to do a, a decent job at everything I do. Add a couple more shadows for the form, and yeah, now I'll be moving on to color.